A look at what's going on with Hurricane Michael. This is going to be a significant storm for our area. It's not going to be an Isabel. It's going to be a an entirely different kind of thing. Uh, some wind, uh, very strong winds, quite likely on Friday morning, and also some rain Thursday night, which could be quite, quite heavy throughout the area. But that'll be quick. I, mean, I think the wind really could create significant power outages uh, through the area. I want to share what's going on. Latest on Michael, you can see the eye of the storm. It gets a little bit cloud covered, but you can see where the eye of the storm is located. Uh, from radars as well, from the uh, uh, east and from the north, land-based radars are picking up on the uh, northern and eastern edges of the storm. There's where things are as of the latest. Now we move on in and show you what's going on in terms of what the forecast, the Hurricane Center has as of its 5 p.m. update. 120 mile an hour winds, and that's been pretty steady, moving northward at about 10 knots, 12 miles an hour, and that's likely to continue during the overnight hours. 125 mile an hour winds. It's slowed down. It's strengthening a bit. Uh, uh, this morning, but it perked up again this afternoon and will likely continue to intensify. 125 mile an hour winds by the overnight hours. There's where things are by 1 o'clock central time uh, tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock our time, 125 mile an hour winds. The track forecast really, really tight now. Uh, really high confidence is going to show up within this cone, very narrow cone by that point. The uh, intensity forecast, these can be notoriously off, so we'll want to watch what goes on with that. But again, it's going to be down near Panama City uh, to the right of where the eye makes landfall, just to the immediate right of where the eye makes landfall. That's likely to be the worst of it. You know, this darker green color, that's lots of swamp land out into here. Uh, it's national park land into here. But then we get Tallahassee, uh, Apalachicola Bay area is going to get hit as well. There's where we are by tomorrow night late. It has weakened considerably to 70 miles an hour, but still packing a punch. Likely there are going to be tornado watches on off into here. Uh, because of that, and it continues on that relatively moderate pace to the northeast through Thursday afternoon. 50 mile an hour winds. It weakens even further. It's over Columbia, South Carolina. It's moved over Augusta, Georgia. Now that's where things are Thursday afternoon at 2. From there on in, the for, uh, Hurricane Center has it really, really get, getting caught up in something called the westerlies and a cold front approaching. And that'll motor this thing right on into the area. 10 o'clock at night. It's moved, it's moved through a lot of land uh, by that point. And we're seeing winds out of the south, southeast, at about to, uh, pretty close to tropical storm force. Certainly for the Outer Banks, we'll likely see winds, uh, certainly a, a tropical storm force. We can see a little bit of tiny minor tidal flooding uh, going on at Hatteras itself, but not a great deal on the ocean side. I think you'll see more flooding going on the south side coming up uh, Thursday night late into Friday morning as we see a northwest wind. That'll be more significant uh, south side flooding coming up for the Outer Banks. As we are two at 10 o'clock uh, in the evening uh, on Thursday evening. Now it makes its way through pretty rapidly by two o'clock in the morning. Usually when these storms are out to sea, we start looking at conditions to rapidly improve. I think the rain will come to an end or at least slow down by around four o'clock in the morning, but the wind will actually pick up. As it circulates counterclockwise, we'll see more of a northwesterly wind kick in, and that'll pump that tide up for the Outer Banks, the south side. But also, these winds are really, really going to be strong. Very, very strong wind. Uh, uh, 65 mile an hour winds right at the ocean front. I think even in town uh, at, during the morning hours on Friday, we'll see 50 mile an hour winds, even over the land, well inland. Uh, so, again, we're looking at really strong winds on Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, the winds back off. Storm is moving way on out to sea, and there's where things are coming up by Saturday and on into Sunday, moving on away. Now, take a look at the uh, specifics on what, and then we're going to show you what's going on uh, with the storm, more to localize. Some rain, but, but the big rain Thursday is going to be the evening hours. Wednesday looks fine. Thursday, most of the day looks fine. See a little bit more rain, but nothing really, really big. I think the big rain starts in the evening, lasts through the overnight hours, and then starts to taper off by around 4 o'clock in the morning. That's the way things are looking for right now. So the rain should end early in the day on Friday, but we'll likely see at least 50, 60 mile an hour winds on Friday morning from around 4 o'clock through around 11 o'clock in the morning. So this would be a significant wind into the area. We can see uh, numerous power outages, scattered power outages, especially near the water, near the bay and the ocean front coming up on Friday morning. And also driving in 50, 60 mile an hour winds, eh, that's kind of questionable coming up on Friday morning. So little to no impact, some impact or high impact. Uh, some impact, heavy rain, three to six inches of rain in six to 10 hours. It would be Thursday from seven to eight o'clock, more likely a little bit later than that, more toward 
9, 10, through around 4 o'clock in the morning. That's a lot of rain, but it moves on through quickly and then it moves on away. Tidal flooding, Outer Banks, yeah, a little bit. Albemarle Sound areas. Uh, again, I think we'll see some sound side flooding for the Outer Banks coming up on Friday morning early. Might see a little bit of flooding uh, Thursday coming up uh, near the Albemarle Sound with that southerly wind pushing the water on up into those areas on Thursday and Thursday night. And damaging winds, I think that's going to be the biggest impact. North northwesterly winds at 50, 65 miles an hour, gusting even higher at times. And that'll be Friday from around 4 o'clock in the morning through around 11 o'clock in the morning. Tornadoes now. Doesn't look like it. Uh, that's that big, big a risk. Here's what's going on as far as rainfall all the way through Thursday evening. Not that much. Starts to pick up though, a little bit by the end of the day on Thursday. Uh, so not big. Now we move on into Friday morning. This forecast model is called the RPM and it's a higher resolution model. It only goes into Friday morning at 7. It's got too much rain. I think it'll be more in the neighborhood of 4 to 6. Certainly a significant rainfall for the area. Not 7 to 8 inches of rain, but I think 4 to 6 inches of rain. Lesser amounts farther southward into the south side. And I think the south side, uh, we could see 2 and a half, 3 inches of rain into the south side, especially Suffolk and points inland. And, and it's moved it a little bit farther south. It has been wavering in between about here and then on down into here in terms of that band of heaviest rain. And earlier it had that 4 to 6 inches right on through here up toward the eastern shore. Now we go to the GFS. And the GFS forecast model has been the model of choice on this one uh, for some of the rainfall. And you can see 3, 4, 5 inches of rain. I think this is pretty good right on through here. 2.78 inches in Norfolk, 2 inches, inch and 3 quarters here uh, in terms of where this storm is going. Now we take you into the, into the future with the uh, uh, future track computer model and show you what's going on. Uh, and we're going to show you, uh, we're taking a long time to show you this, but why not? Uh, here's what's going on. Our crew isn't loving it. They're away from their dinner break. 84, 85 degrees coming up for the day tomorrow. Yada, yada. Nothing real, real big. Okay, now we move on into Thursday. It's kind of the same thing. Nothing real, real big going on for most of the day. We could see a little bit more rainfall coming up at the end of the day and likely be in the mid to upper 80s as some tropical air starts working its way on in. And you'll note that by Thursday evening, what is this? Well, that's the heavy rainfall moving on in for the overnight hours. But look at the winds as well. By 1 o'clock in the morning, 44 mile an hour winds out of the south, southeast. So that's where Albemarle Sound, you can start to see some of that flooding into some of these areas. That's 1 o'clock in the morning. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. And this is the GFS. And you'll note that there's the storm itself moving right on through our area with heavy rain at 4 o'clock. At 7 o'clock in the morning, it's still with us. 39 mile an hour winds. Nothing exceptional. This is Virginia Beach, uh, the ocean front. Now we take you on at 10 o'clock in the morning. Look at this wind kicking on in. 65 mile an hour winds. So that's going to be the real, real danger out of this thing. Yes, some rain. We'll see street flooding overnight. Uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning, 7, 10 o'clock in the morning. Seeing winds of this sort, you don't want to be out on the road coming up on Friday morning. We could see scattered, significant power outages, especially anywhere near the water on Friday morning. Friday during the afternoon, the wind back backs off a little bit. Temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s, uh, and then uh, upper 60s later on in the day. And then look at this by Saturday. We finally cool off. It'll be around 42, 45 degrees, something like that. Uh, since we've seen temperatures below average, we're finally going to see temperatures below average coming up on Saturday. Sunday shouldn't be too terribly bad either, uh, as we see temperatures into the 70s coming up on Sunday. This we are uh, around 70 by Sunday afternoon. I'm going a little bit warmer than that. Here's where we are again tomorrow, nothing big. Nothing really that big during the daylight hours of Thursday. We'll see a little bit better chance of some rain. But Thursday night into Friday morning, that's when we get hit with a heavy rainfall. And that wind will hit, will really hit coming up between 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning on through about 11 o'clock in the morning coming up on Friday.